Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with our ICBM submarine. As you guys can see right here, it is floating. There are missile bays, there are also uh, these things right here, little decoys. I still need to paint this little bit right here, but we have a cargo bay, which is currently empty. Today I figured we'd actually go ahead and work on the cargo bay a little bit, which would be awesome. We're then going to go ahead and try and fix these bits right here, because they all look a little bit ugly right now. And uh, we're gonna sort out some other stuff as well. So let's go ahead and get straight to it, shall we? Alright guys, we're doing it. First things first, let's go ahead and paint this little block right here the right color. Bam! There we go. Okay, that bit is done. We're then gonna go to the interior down here and try and paint this so that it looks normal and actually somewhat works. So let's go ahead and paint these guys into here. Actually just do that bit right there and do this. So, we're going to go ahead and delete uh, that guy there, we're then going to go grab about five, and we're going to delete those guys. One, two, three, four, five. Delete this guy and this guy and keep it going. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, go ahead and do this right here and here, and then continue it. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, let's just do it at the end. There we go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add some rope anchor points into here and try and make it look lovely. That's my job anyway, so go ahead and put that guy right there, that guy right there, that guy right there, this guy right here, and keep it going. There we go. Lovely! Yes. So, essentially what I'm trying to do is just make the submarine look nice on the interior, uh, and I think this is going to do it. Maybe. Anyway. Maybe just a little bit. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue painting these guys. There we go. Awesome. We'll then grab these guys, and we'll put some of them in the roof. I know that seems a little bit strange, but that is what we're going to do, so... If we can do it in line with the rest of them, that would be great. There we go, there we go, and there we go. And we're going to do the rest of them as well. So right here, there we go, and right here as well, there we go. Okay, if I can, let's go ahead and give these guys some rope to each other. There we go. That might seem a little bit strange, but I think it's going to look nice. And we also need this on both sides, so I'm going to quickly uh, mirror it over. And there we go, now we have it on both sides, which is pretty awesome, and I'm actually going to go ahead and do some cross uh, bits over here as well, because I think that might look pretty cool, so let's go ahead and do that all the way down, essentially, there we go, and then do it back over the other way as well. Uh, I might be adding a little bit too many ropes to this, but that might look cool. I don't know, let's go ahead and check it out. Does it look cool? Does it look weird? I think that actually just looks like a bit of a poo storm, but uh, yeah, okay, right, that's fine. So I'll actually change those, we'll get rid of the ones in the center, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and work on the floor a little bit too. Okay, so when you're working on the floor and stuff like that, it is probably best uh, to actually do this on both sides to begin with, and trying to figure out what you actually want on the floor. So what I want is some fluid stuff, I actually kind of want to use, uh, I actually really want to use these guys, so let's go ahead and get this color, and try and put some of these guys into the floor right here. So it's four at a time, I guess, so that's right there. Let's go and do this guy as well. There we go, and in the center of there, we can actually do another one. There we go. I'm then going to do the same thing right here, same thing right here, and honestly, I think the floor will look nice, or nicer, after this. So that goes there. Uh, this should hopefully go here. There we go, and we'll do another one right here, and that'll be awesome. Nice. Okay, so I decided to paint the floor this color instead, which honestly looks alright, and I'm going to leave this room as is, yes. Uh, from there, I'm actually going to go ahead and start painting these guys, trying to make sure that this is all uh, symmetrical and all the same. Uh, so we can do that all the way down there, all the way to the end, and there we go. What I might also do is actually delete these edge pieces and replace them with uh, flat bits. I, I don't know why, but I feel like this just looks really ugly at the minute. And I kind of want to change it, so I'm going to go ahead and make these corridors look a little bit nicer, and we'll go with that. Okie dokie, so what we've actually done then is we've uh, fixed this little corridor right here, which definitely looks a lot better than it did, which is awesome. Uh, what we might also add to these guys, if I can, is actually little windows so that we can see inside um, and see if the missiles are actually still there. I know that seems a little bit weird, but uh, it's what I want to do, so let's go ahead and do it! There you go, those guys there, this guy right here, little windows can actually fit inside of these, and that's going to work great. What we have to do before that, though, is actually paint around these, uh, so it doesn't look so strange uh, when it comes to uh, actually having the window in there. So, yeah, just make sure the tops and the bottoms and the sides are actually all painted, and that should be good to go. Then we're going to go ahead and grab the window, and go ahead and slot it in like this. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, and there's six. Twelve in total. Nice. 
Okay, I've actually just thought of a new design for something that might be really cool, but also might look really, really dumb. But essentially, uh, we'd have to delete this bit right here, or at least cut it and place it back in, or whatever. But what is actually behind this? So we do have a little bit of room that, right there. Uh, this might be really awesome, but at the same time might be really silly. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and paste that right there real quick. I'm then actually going to go to the other side, and I'm going to paste it, obviously not there, but here. Uh, so undo that, paste it in, there we go. And what I'm going to do is actually delete these guys right here. Going to get a bit of a pivot, and I'm going to attach it to the top bit right here, which, again, very strange, but leave me to it, it'll be fine. Merge that guy, merge this guy, there we go. So those guys can actually flap up, uh, and that is awesome. Okay, so far so good. We're then going to go ahead and try and figure out how to make a flat surface inside of here, so we can actually build something within the sub. There we go, delete those guys, delete these as we go, and uh, that's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome, guys. Okay, cool. I don't know why I'm doing that voice, but there you go. So delete these guys right here, go ahead and delete this one as well. Fix that in there across the front, and keep it going. I can't actually tell what's going on, but I'm trying my best. Okay, so from here, go ahead and send it across, delete this guy, fill this bit in. And essentially, we need to keep doing that backwards until we reach this point right here. Which, honestly, we are quite far away from. So, uh, if we can, let's go ahead and keep building these in. Um, we don't need to get rid of those, but we do need to get rid of these. Aha! Yeah, that's the issue. So, we need to get rid of this. In fact, no, we do need to get rid of all of them. Every single bit of this needs to go. So, including these guys. Which is so strange, uh, but at the same time, we can just build this back in like this. And that'll be mighty fine. Okay, good. Get rid of all these guys on the inside of here. Um, and just build this in. Get rid of these, get rid of this, get rid of those. There we go. Fix all of that into position. Fix this into position. Delete that guy, delete that guy. Put that right there. Fix this across the top right here. This is actually kind of madness, but sure. And then fix this across there as well. Deleting this guy and sending it even further out to the side. There we go. We can actually fill that in right there. And now we have a fully sealed room. Kind of. Okay, so you might be wondering what this room is actually for, and why you'd have it on the front of the submarine. Well, what happens if we become, uh, or we come under aerial fire, uh, from like aircraft or something like that, from the front? I mean, realistically, you wouldn't necessarily only have it on the front, but let's go ahead and put some mis <laughs> missiles inside of here. Okie dokie, so here is our little missile right here, as you guys can see. It might actually be a little bit too big for uh, our little area, but uh, I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and move it forwards. Try and put it into position, which would be right in the center, I guess. Yeah, it is actually way too big uh, for this application, but we should be able to use it anyway. So if we drop that down into there, we can actually delete all of this stuff back here. Uh, delete this wall real quick and just send this across, just like so. Go ahead and fill that floor in, uh, if we can, right there. Actually, no, wait, 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 wait. Delete all of that. Fill the floor in right here instead. And then we should be able to fit it in directly in here like this. Okay, which does actually sort of fit. That's cool. That is very cool. Yeah, okay. So we can have a missile there. We can have a missile next to it. And then we can uh, paint the roof. And that'll be fine. Okay, right. So, uh, with that being said, what do we do now? <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, okay, I need a pivot. And the pivot needs to go uh, towards the front end about here, honestly. Yeah, okay, so... How do we want this to work? How do I... How do I want this to work? Um, so that's gonna go there, off to the side where it will work. We're then gonna get ourselves a hard point. This actually kind of needs to go further into the floor, otherwise it's not actually going to work. Uh, unless we actually deployed them from the roof uh, downwards. Which is odd, but at the same time, really kind of cool. So if we did this. Okie dokie, yeah. Uh, actually sort of in the right position, kind of. Um, does it fit there? It does actually fit there. Paste it. Okay, there's one. There's two, there's three, and there is four. 
Okay, I don't know whether it's going to be able to lift these out the way that they currently are, but let's go ahead and try. So, throttle, yes. Smack that Derek under here, and uh, see if these work. So, it is worth mentioning, I didn't expect to be doing this right now, or today, or yeah, I didn't expect this at all. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if this will open up. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Okay, it's the wrong way around. It, it needs inverting, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and then once we've done that, we should be good. So zero and minus one. Okay, go. All right, is this going to work, guys? No, you see, it is getting stuck on the floor. But the thing that we can do there is we can actually just lower the floor down uh, in order to actually allow that to work. So if we can, delete this guy right here. Okay, going forwards to there. That's fine. Uh, delete these guys as well. And then what we'll actually do is lower the floor down, or the ceiling down, in here, down to there. We should still be able to get in if we want to open up and close the door. So that'll be good. And we'll do this in order for it to not flood. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm then going to go ahead and grab this and send it across there. Delete these guys. They are unnecessary. Gonna paint that guy right there, paint these guys, and these guys right here, and that's all fine. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of most of this too. Because clearly that's a little bit shame, a little bit of a shame if that's all there. So go ahead and put these guys into here. Delete this guy and this guy. And fill that in. There we go. And send it across from there to there. Okay. Is it now gonna work? Who knows? Okay, here we go, and no, it's still getting stuck. Oh, that's annoying. Why is it getting stuck, though? It might actually be to do with the bit at the front. Okay, so what we can do is we can actually move all of it backwards if we wanted to, uh, I suppose. So let's go ahead and grab this all the way to here, including these guys. Okay, cut it. Move it backwards once. I don't think I can go backwards any further than that, so that's all we can do. And then, grab these guys and do the same thing. So from there, all the way to here, cut it, move it backwards one, paste it in, and merge it together. There we go, merge that with that, this with this. Seal these guys off on the top, like so. And there we go, alright, let's see if this works. It's a bit crazy, I know I shouldn't have really done it, but there you go. So now we can actually launch missiles straight up into the sky. Uh, that will target aerial planes and helicopters and stuff above us, which is a little bit insane, but um, should work. Maybe. Okay, so this might be a little bit insane, but there is an aircraft up there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give it infinite electricity real quick, just so that it uh, all attaches together and looks nice. There we go. And then let's go ahead and try and launch a missile at it. That seems a little bit strange, but here we go. So those guys lift straight up into the sky, and we launch. Okay, I believe it has missed the target. Let's go ahead and fire another one. <laughs> they might all miss the target, to be fair. I haven't actually tested these missiles in a while. Okay, and I might have put them on wrong. But uh, let's go ahead and see if this one hits. It looked like it actually went towards the target, but never mind. Try this one as well. Here we go. Okay, so I believe these missiles are actually set up not to hit the targets um, correctly here. So the main issue is... Uh, what is the main issue? It might be that, um, oh, what's the words? What's the words? Um, they don't actually want to go in the right direction, for one. Uh, and the main reason is because they were actually based on a land-based vehicle. Uh, which if you guys have ever watched my IFV videos, you'll know they were based on that. So it might actually be that it is directly above us, and that's an issue. So what I'll do instead, is I'll actually move it slightly sideways, and we'll see if it can track it that way. It might, it might not. I'm not very good with these missiles, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, we can sort of, even, we can even sort of point it towards the target, but let's go ahead and do this and see what happens. So that one is clearly missed. It isn't even bothered. <laughs> that one isn't even bothered. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and send this forwards a little bit. Do that one. That one looks like it might be a little bit bothered. There we go. Okay, cool. Send another one. Yep, that one hit as well, and send another one. 
There we go. Okay, cool. So these do sort of work. They're just a little bit of a mess. That is, uh, that's an issue. Okay, so you might be asking who is actually going to control that. Well, a guy that's just sat in the front. Uh, it doesn't have to be uh, very special, I don't think. So we're just going to go ahead and make it a guy that sits in this really dark room at the front of the sub. So let's go ahead and give them a big old camera so they can actually see what they're shooting at. And uh, hopefully we can go from there. So camera is going to go on... Oh, actually, where should the camera even go? <laughs> where should the camera go? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on here. We only need one, and it is only going to be on one side, but that's okay. So if we can, let's go ahead and do... can't tell which way this is pointing. Let's go ahead and do this, alright? There we go. So, connect this to... down here, to this seat. Up and down is going to be for FOV. Um, one... in fact, the seat isn't really going to do anything. <laughs> the seat itself isn't going to do anything, but that's fine. Uh, we're then going to get ourselves a monitor. Uh, that is a big old monitor for right here. There we go. And essentially, when you sit in this seat, it's going to turn on that monitor and give it electricity. These guys all have electricity already. And give that guy electricity too. Send the camera straight down into there. And then we can probably go. All right, let's go ahead and get inside the sub and see what that room actually looks like now. I have give it lights and stuff like that. So we'll see if it uh, looks all right. Let's go ahead and go forwards. I do need to sort this bit out. I might actually move those across to there and do something with this area. I'm not sure just yet, but that's fine. We're going to go ahead and continue forwards, open this up, sit down in the seat. We can open the missile hatch, which we can see out of. We can then zoom. I might actually put that on an actual button. We'll see. And then I can fire the missiles. So there's one. Does that actually hurt us in this situation? Can't tell if that's hit. It has not. So we need to move this down and then fire again. I believe they are actually searching somewhat above themselves, but that's fine. That one did actually hit the targets. So that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and fire another one. There we go. I believe that one actually missed. Yikes. Okay, fire another one. There we go. Let's go ahead and see if that one hits. Oh, it sailed straight past the wing. That's unfortunate. But honestly, kind of a cool addition. It looks kind of cool. Um, it, of course, is weird, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it whatsoever. Uh, the last thing that I want to do, though, is actually go into the sides of this. And I want to paint this. If I can. I'm struggling to paint, paint it. I can't actually paint it. For whatever reason, I can't paint the sides. I'm struggling, I'm struggling, and I can't do it. That's really annoying, because I can just about see them, but... Can't do anything about them. Never mind. Okay, well, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys actually think of those. They're a little bit strange. Obviously, they're um, they're a last resort kind of thing. They're obviously not aimed very well. Um, but I don't know. If you've got planes flying around over your head, just launch them and see if they'll hit them. I don't know. It's kind of a, a weird way of doing things. But there you go. Uh, the other thing that I might mention as well is I might actually add another torpedo back here somewhere. Uh, and maybe have about six torpedoes so that we have at least a few. I don't know. I think that makes sense. Anyway, um, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Um, I think I'm actually thinking about my next project. And I, and I know we're not really finished with this one just yet, and it's not really polished. Um, but I want to try something a little bit more simple, you know, because I'm adding quite a lot to this. And I think it's a little bit too much, to be honest. Um, and it's making it harder to actually finish the entire project. But... Uh, with that being said, it is still cool, and I will still release it to the workshop so you guys can check it out um, and modify it. But, yeah, I think I'm getting to the end of what I want to do with this. Anyway, uh, for right now, I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.